Hello, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to compile the code for the Raspberry Pi Pico to use on your DIY box slash frame one slash rectangle slash whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, this is what we're gonna do. So first of all, I made a text document that I will provide a link to in the description for you to reference as well. Um, but anyway, first up, is to install Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, this is very simple to do. It just gives you access to Linux functions on Windows. So what you're gonna do is open a PowerShell. You can just click start and type Windows PowerShell. Um, you'll get a PowerShell window open. And all you need to do is type WSL space dash dash install. And I've already done this, and it installs Ubuntu Terminal by default. So when I do it, it's not actually going to install it. I've already done it. But once it installs, you should get a pop-up window of the terminal of Ubuntu. And it's going to ask you to type in a username and then type in a password. Once you're in this terminal window, what we're going to have to do next is install the Pico SDK. So before I show you that, let me just clarify that the files, um, the files for this, for the window, for the Linux documents are stored in a, in a very obscure place. So you can access them by typing explore.exe space dot and pressing enter. And this will open the went the folder in file explorer within windows so you can see here i've got ubuntu home my my username i entered and all this stuff i'm actually going to delete this pico2 folder because i'm going to remake it to show you guys um skip um Okay, it doesn't want to let me delete everything. That's fine. It doesn't matter right now. I'll just make a new one. Um, anyway, what we're going to do next is we're going to type M-K-D-I-R space Pico. You can just do Pico. For this video, I'm going to do Pico 3 so that, um, you know, I can actually show you every step. But just, just Pico is fine. It doesn't matter. Now, you want to change to this directory. So CD for change directory, Pico. And now that you're in it, you want to download the Pico SDK. And to do that, you can reference the text document in the description. Or you can open the Getting Started with Pico PDF provided by Raspberry Pi. Um, so now that we're in the Pico folder, we're going to download the SDK by typing git space clone space dash b space master. Um, by the way, you might be able to copy paste this. I've just been typing them out because I don't know. I don't think control C, control Z, control V works. So I'm just going to type it out github.com slash raspberry pi slash pico dash sdk dot git and it cloned it very quickly now you want to navigate to the pico sdk folder by cd pico sdk change directory now you can see we're in the pico sdk folder and we're just going to update it we're going to update the pico sdk git submodule and these commands are all in the text document and also in the getting started with Pico data sheet. Git submodule update dash dash init. Okay, it's updating and it's done. Next, we need to install the tool chain and this is what's gonna let us compile. Um, what you need to type here is sudo. This is where you're gonna need your password. 
Sudo means super user do. It requires administrative privileges. Sudo apt update. And then you have to type in your password. Give it just a little bit. Okay. And now sudo apt install cmake gcc dash arm dash none dash. By the way, the GCC in this has nothing to do with GameCube controller. I just I think it's funny that it's GCC. Um, so finish typing this command. This is in the all in the text document. And bam, I've already done this. By the way, I've already installed the tool chain. I'm just showing you guys. It's going to be like this. Um, now, now that that's done, you want to change directory and go back. So cd space dot dot. This will bring you back into the Pico folder and you want to make, um, you want to download Arte's code. To do this, we're going to type git space clone and then the rest of it, which is in the text document, github.com slash, oh, I'm sorry. I'm typing the wrong one. It is git clone. You're cloning from GitHub. Git space clone space HTTPS. GitHub.com slash. This is um, Arte's GitHub link. Basically. Slash Pico dash rectangle dot git. All right. Now we've downloaded his source code. And just to show you guys that that happened, I'm gonna type in explorer.exe space dot. Like I told you guys earlier, this is, I believe I already mentioned this, you can open your file explorer window to see it within Windows. So you don't have to do everything through terminal. So as you can see, we now have the SDK downloaded. We have our taste code downloaded and we're getting very close to being finished. Next, we are going to have to change one thing in Arte's file here. Um, speaking of which, you can make edits to the code. I'm not going to go over that right now, but you do need to make this change. In, inside the Pico rectangle folder, open cmakelist.txt, and you're going to see this line of code here. This sets the path for the Pico SDK. This path right here is already correct. For some reason, this pound slash hashtag slash whatever the fuck you want to call it sign here you need to delete that and save and if you've followed everything as i've done it this path right here should be fine as long as you have pico rectangle and pico sdk in the same folder so make that change just delete that little uh pound sign right before here and save it and now, um, if you're in the terminal window and you type D-I-R, it'll show you every folder name um, that is in the folder you're currently in. So I'm just doing that. Pico Rectangle is where we want to go. We want to go into Arte's source code now, his folder. So CD, change directory. We're in there. We need to make a build folder. So MK for make, D-I-R space build. Okay, we've now made a build folder. You can see that here. And then this is the final step. It's uh, easy. C make space dot dot. Uh-oh. Pico 3 does not appear to contain C makes, C make list dot text. Um, uh, let's see. What did I mess up? Let me try it again. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to go into the build folder. Okay. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes like this. So I'm not in the build folder yet. I'm just inside of 
the Pico rectangle folder. So after you make the build folder, which we just did, you need to go into it. So CD space build. You're now in the build folder. Now you can see make space dot dot. The code begins compiling and then there's another step. You just type make, press enter. And success 100% built target Pico, Pico rectangle. So now if you go in here, sometimes when you go in here, by the way, if you've left it open, you'll need to refresh for the files to show up. But you can see now in Pico Rectangle build, we have this .uf2 file that we just compiled. The timestamp is current, 12.33 p.m. is my current time. And you can drag and drop this onto your Pico and upload it. And that's it, guys. That's all you have to do to compile the code. Once you have all this, once you have everything installed correctly, it's very easy. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Discord, leave a comment in the video and ask whatever. Um, also make sure you check the description of the video and reference the text guide that I provided.